Welcome to Friday's East Midlands Today with me, Sarah Hawley. First tonight, acts of remembrance have been held across the region to mark Armistice Day. A two-minute silence was observed in towns, cities and villages, and a special monument was unveiled in Leicester. Among today's tributes were a number of special services held on the East Midlands rail network. Simon Hare was in Derby for the first of our reports. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. On platform one at Derby Station, a simple act of remembrance. Railway staff and military veterans came together at the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month to mark the end of the First World War and pay tribute to those lost in all conflicts. Station duty manager Paul Mobbs is one of many East Midlands railway staff who used to be in the services. I think it's really important because there's people like myself who are obviously ex-veterans, people who have been in the army, but all people who may have known people which have worked for the railway who were in one of the great wars. And it's nice that these plaques are here permanently marking all the railway workers that did die during the wars. Oh, most certainly. You'd actually be surprised how many people come along and look at these plaques all throughout the year. Also on display for the first time, special artwork commissioned by EMR and created by schools and community groups across the region. It's all part of the Roots of Remembrance project run by the Veterans Charity, which today saw a special steam train run on the Ecclesbourne Valley Railway from Worksworth to Duffield in Derbyshire. Back in Derby, there was also a very personal act of remembrance. I'm dressed as my great-grandfather, Private Joe Wilson, who went to war in 1915 as a volunteer. He had a wife and two children, um, fought in the Battle of the Somme, fought in the Battle of Luz, got injured, but then got killed a month before the end, and so he never came home. And I've got his last letter home, his last letter from his wife, and uh, in our family, it's just nice to keep his memory alive, because he was an ordinary man, as so many of them were, and uh, he never came home. Ordinary men who made an extraordinary sacrifice. Simon Hare, BBC East Midlands Today, Derby.